that why plants don't respond immediately to various stimuli. Their response is just a slow process, unlike animals because they have nervous system. So this is really considerable that how do plants respond and why they slow. Now the functioning of control and coordination in plant is performed by the chemical substance called plant hormones or also known as phytohormones. Some of the terms like dormancy or breaking of dormancy you would know here. So what is dormancy? The dormancy means a resting or inactive condition in which all the metabolism activity stops. The seed of plant is inactive or dormant. So it has dormancy. So let's jump, jump upon the details of plant hormones in which you would know about the types and their functions. Welcome to Adifix Do You Know. What are phytohormones or plant hormones? The function of control and coordination in plants is performed by plant hormones called phytohormones. Phytohormones are the organic substances produced in small quantity which regulate growth development and other physiological functions. Broadly, we are going to study the phytohormones namely auxin, zebralin, cytokinin, abscisic acid and ethylene. The first one, auxin and its functions. Auxin promotes cell growth. It promotes spikal dominance and suppresses the growth of lateral birds unlike cytokinin which promote growth of little birds and check apical dominance. It prevents abscission of fall of leaves unlike ethylene which promotes leaf fall. It induces cell division in the area of injury and it also induces nodule formation in legumes. It induces parthenocarpy in many plants. It induces bending movement in plant. When growing plants detect light, auxin is synthesized at the shoot tip that helps cell to grow longer. When light is coming from one side of the plant, auxin diffuses towards the shady side of the shoot. The concentration of auxin stimulates the cell to grow longer on the side of shoot, which is away from light. Thus, the plant appears to bend towards the light. Types of auxin Broadly, we are classified it as synthetic auxin and natural auxin. Some of the examples of synthetic auxins are 2,4-D or 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid and 2,4-5-T that is trichlorophenoxyacetic acid. Some of the natural auxins are IAA stands for indole acetic acid and IBA stands for indole butyric acid. Next one is zebralin and their function. It induces internodal elongation even in dwarf plants and causes elongation of stem in rosette plants. It causes growth in aerial plants. It breaks dormancy of birds and seeds. It induces parthenocarpy both Zebralin and cytokinin can delay aging. It promotes maleness in monoecious plants. Next one is cytokinin. Cytokinin promotes cell elongation. It delays senescence or aging and death like zebralins. It promotes cell division and hence naturally present in greater concentration in the areas of rapid cell division. It promotes growth of lateral birds and check apical dominance. Abscisic acid performs so many function. The most important function of abscisic acid or ABA, it inhibits growth. It induces formation of storage protein during seed formation. It prevents growth of embryo during maturation of seed. It stops cambial activity in autumn and winter season. It induces stop metal closure under water stress conditions so also called stress hormone or abscisic acid is also known as stress hormone cause wilting of leaves it induces dormancy in birds 
seeds and other storage organs which help in overcoming the effect of adverse environmental condition or antagonistic to zebralin next one is ethylene ethylene promotes fruit ripening it is responsible for falling of leaves and fruits or just opposite to function of auxin it promotes aging and senescence antagonistic gonastic to both zebralin and cytokinin it induces more growth on upper surface of leaves and petals it inhibits elongation of cells of roots and stem so i hope